Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a special review of the Moderoid Boltron Lion Force model kit. Now, before we get into it, I want to remind you guys, this is a model kit, meaning it doesn't come fully assembled right out of the box. When you first open it, you'll see runners instruction manuals and all the parts needed to build it from the ground up that's part of the fun but if you're new to model kits and not into the idea of building your own figure this might not be for you however if you're curious and want to give it a try i've got the full stop motion build playlist to guide you through the process link in the description below Alright, let's get to the review. Since this is a model kit, I'm going to break it down by build quality and overall design. Starting with the negatives. First off, the runners aren't undergated, which means you'll likely need to do some sanding to remove knob marks. Second, there are quite a few color correcting stickers and personally, I'm not a fan. I prefer water decals over stickers because they tend to look cleaner. And in this case, some of the stickers like the lion's eyes are essential to the design. That might be a deal breaker for some of you who want a more foolish look. Finally, the parts forming. I don't mind parts forming if it adds stability to the combined Voltron mode. In this case, the blue and yellow lion head swap out for a larger combined mode head. My issue is that the alternate head lacks jaw articulation, which feels like a bit of a design mess. Now, onto the positives. The build itself is smooth, no pitting issues at all. Aside from dealing with those stickers, it's a really satisfying build. Once it's fully assembled, ignoring the sticker situation, it looks fantastic. It captures exactly what you want from a Boltron figure. The fact that it can split into the five individual lions is great and it comes with all the necessary weapons mouth blades in lion mode the blazing sword a double bladed stuff and even a shuriken The overall build is solid, and the best part for me is the articulation. This figure can really pose.
So overall, I love this kit. I might even custom paint it or wait for Moderoid or a third party to release some water devils to replace the stickers. As a figure, it's definitely worth picking up. But remember, again, it's a model kit, so you'll have to build it yourself. If you're interested and need help assembling it, again, check out my step motion playlist link in the description below. Thanks for sticking with me till the end of the video. If you enjoyed this review, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. As always, enjoy life and keep collecting.